Purchasing a new bike is rarely a cheap affair, unfortunately. Our expectations are often higher than our budget, and it's always tempting to look at what you would get if you spent just a little bit more than you can actually afford. But what if you could get that little bit more without actually spending any more? That would be good, wouldn't it? And it might just be possible. Coming up are GCN's tips on how to save money on your next bike purchase. The first way to save money is by not buying a brand new bike at all, but instead searching for a slightly used one. Now there are of course loads of ways of doing this currently, including things like eBay and Gumtree, but what we would recommend is searching your local club website to see if they've got any classified ad forums. You're more likely to get a decent bike this way in our opinion, because whoever's selling it is probably going to be well known in the local cycling community. Now, when you're buying secondhand, it is important that you do your research. So try to make sure you are buying from a, re a reputable seller, someone that has a history in selling either bikes or at least bike-related equipment, and ask them plenty of questions about the condition of the bike, its history, whether or not there are any defects, and whether or not they have the original purchase receipt. Now, it's always going to be slightly risky buying a used bike, but if you do do your research and minimise those risks, then you're likely to head home with an absolute bargain. Or how about building your own bike? Yes, it's easy and convenient to buy an off-the-peg bike, but you could save some money and also get exactly what you want by building your own. And you can also mix and match used and new parts. So for example, you might be able to find yourself a really nice slightly used frame set and slightly used wheels, but then get a brand new drivetrain and saddle, etc. And this way it also gives you an enormous amount of freedom. So it might be that you want to build the best overall bike you can for your current budget, or you might want to plow more of your budget into the frame set, make sure you get a really good one, and less on the components so that later on you've got a great basis to upgrade on when you've got a bit more money. Or how about you buy a new bike that's not new? That's right, you get an unused bike but not the current model. You can often find big discounts in your local bike shop or online for previous year's models, and the differences between them and the current models is often only cosmetic. The differences in functionality and weight could be little or nothing at all. So if keeping up with the Joneses is not one of your priorities, this could be a great way of saving the pennies. Or how about trying to get your hands on an ex-professional team bike? At the end of each season, riders don't often get to keep their own bikes, which is bad news for them, but potentially very good news for you, because some teams then sell them to the general public. So for example, on the Canyon website, you will sometimes see ex Mobistar or Katusha team bikes, and other teams sell them direct via their website. Get one of these and you'll have the added kudos that the bike you're riding has previously been ridden in pro races. Now you might be thinking that a pro rider's bike has quite a harsh life. And you're right, it does. But at the same time, it's also cared for daily by a professional mechanic. And you could try to get your hands on one of those spare bikes. You know, the ones that sit on the top of the roof for the vast majority of their lives, just waiting on the off chance that their rider is going to need them. Get one of those and you're sure to get a true bargain. Now this next tip, I am afraid, is not going to be applicable to all of you. However, in certain countries around the world, you can save money on your next bike purchase through your employers and the government. That's right, here in the UK, we have something called the Ride to Work Scheme, which allows you to purchase your next bike completely tax-free, which is always a bonus. eBay is not the only place that you can buy a bike at auction. No, it's always worth checking with your local police station to see if they ever auction off stolen goods that have never been reclaimed. Unfortunately, they're often auctioning off cheap mountain bikes and such. However, occasionally you're going to be able to find a hidden gem at a bargain basement price. So it's always worth checking to see if they've got anything. There is little doubt that buying online is a great way to find competitive pricing. But please do not ignore your local bike shop. Along with passing on their knowledge and advice when it comes to buying your next bike, they can also be a little more willing than online stores in negotiating the actual price. And it might be that they also throw in a couple of free accessories to boot. Plus, if you do buy your next bike from a local bike shop, you can be happy in the knowledge that your purchase has gone towards sustaining a very important local business. One that keeps bikes and therefore cyclists out on the road. 
Right, if you have yet to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network, please do so by clicking on the globe. If you've got any advice yourself on how to save money on your next bike purchase, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments section down below. And then we've got a couple more relevant videos for you right now. In the top corner is how to upgrade your bike for free. Let's face it, who wouldn't want to do that? And in the bottom corner are 11 useful cycling hacks.